hey, if you're looking at this video, it's because you probably bought a Netgear A7000 USB 3.0 Wi-Fi adapter, and you're having the problem of the Netgear Genie that's coming installed with it, but you just need the driver by itself. And that program keeps asking you to connect the device to, the net, uh, to your router. So let's go ahead and dig right in. If you look at my device manager, you'll notice that my device is currently uninstalled. There's no driver associated with it, and I do not have the Netgear program. All right, see, there's no Netgear program in my computer. So what you want to do is go ahead and install the program. I know it's kind of counterproductive, but just trust me. So wherever you have the program downloaded, wherever that folder is, go ahead and just you know install it from there. I have mine on my desktop for simplicity reasons for the video. And this is the thing that we all hate right here is that program, the software. Feel free to skip forward in this video, of course. This is just the installation. I'm sure you already have it installed and wondering why you're having problems. And just to clarify, there is another program called the SA, which stands for standalone, but the difference in actual compiling size is one kilobyte. This is literally not a standalone driver, even though it says it is. So this is the problem that we all have, the Netgear Genie trying to connect. You hit cancel and it pops back up, okay? So down here, right click your taskbar, hit task manager, click this, right click and task. It's gone, all right, it's out of our hair, but it's installed. So what we wanna do, Windows keys E opens up Windows Explorer. Go to this PC, local disk C, and go to program files 86 for 32-bit programs. You're gonna see a folder called Netgear. This is in here, double click, A7000, you have a driver folder. Now take this driver folder and you're gonna copy it here, okay? The way I did that is I right clicked and drug it. You can control C for copy. You can right click and hit copy. And then you just right click and hit paste on your uh, desktop, any number of the shortcuts. Go ahead and close that out. And now I have the driver folder. You can go ahead and get rid of the program folder. You don't need it anymore. And then go ahead and add or remove programs. Because all we wanted was we just wanted the folder out of the program. And now that we have the folder, you can go ahead and uninstall this program. You don't need Netgear Genie. It's absolute crap. We all hate it. We don't understand why Netgear doesn't fix it or even approach or under, even uh, take responsibility for creating such a terrible program. And now it's gone. Okay. Some people are like, oh, you need to restart your computer. Let's not worry about that. This will still work. All right. So you have your driver folder. I personally like to keep things nice and clean. So I'm going to put mine in a new folder that I'm going to create. And this is the same directory that the Netgear folder was in originally. All right, so now it's in here. Go ahead and close that out, open up device manager, and you'll see that your network adapter is still, is not even there, okay? So go ahead and unplug it and plug it back in. And now you'll see it pops up, boom. Now it needs a driver, update driver, browse my computer, browse to where you have it. If you have it on your desktop, then it's right here. You expand it and it should be a folder that says driver. You would click that folder and hit OK. For me, it's in right here, A7000, driver. Hit OK, boom, next. And it's installing the drivers. And the drivers have successfully been installed because it has all the files you need. And there is your Wi Fi adapter, driver installed. But what don't you have? You don't have the Netgear Genie program anymore. And there you go. See what networks pop up? And I could connect to my Wi-Fi. I know I do not have a hardline connection. And connected, secured. Double check to see if it's working. And Twitch is popping up and everything is fine. I hope this helps. If it does, share the video. Have others, you know, come watch this video. It's short, quick, you know, it's a simple fix. If you have any questions or problems, I honestly will not be addressing them in, in below in the comments. I don't have that kind of time. Good luck and I hope this helps.